Hey everyone, my name is Martin and today I'm going to show you how to create the LUTs in Photoshop, uh, more likely uh, basic LUTs. And first of all, what is LUTs? Some of you maybe haven't heard this term. LUTs are is some sort of filters. It works very similar as presets in the Lightroom. And simply once the LUT is created, you can apply to your images or videos in Premiere Pro. So it's extremely useful and time saving to really work this way. So how to create them in Photoshop? First of all, we need to have some sort of base. So the image we want to, based on what we want to create the LUT. I'm going to create something really warm, a uh, holiday uh, type lifestyle uh, LUT. So I'm going to use this image. And first of all, I want to work with the colors. And every time we will be working with colors, we have to use the adjustment layers that we have in Photoshop. So we can work with color balance, we can work with gradient map, we can work with curves. And one of my favorite tools to work with the color is color balance. Now I can set up the colors that I would enjoy. So as I mentioned, I want to create some sort of nice holiday lifestyle image. I would go with the warm tones for the shadows, a little bit more of the yellow here as well. Of course, you can create whatever you really like, uh, similar to mid-tones, something uh, rather warm. And maybe I'm not going to go with highlights that drastically, but I don't really want to have highlights uh, that warm. So slightly cooler, but not too much as well. I don't really want to make it uh, too uh, bluish. Let's have a look how, how it goes and I'm going to change blending mode to color. Now I want to make maybe background uh, slightly cleaner. I could work a little bit with the hue saturation and with the hue saturation, uh, for example, I would uh, like to take down some of the cyan color from the image. So as you can see, it's not really that strong. I wanted to see just a little bit cyan down. And as a last step, I would like to apply some contrast. So I'm going to levels and I'm going to change blending mode to luminosity so I will not affect the saturation values anymore. So I want to increase the shadows by dragging the bottom slider a little, increase the highlights a little bit more. I want this image to be really bright. Uh, we can cut out some shadows if you don't like it. As you can see, you can just cut this out if you want brighter and soften effect. And after that, I'm just going to drag down the mid-tones here. So to understand that, this slider shadows, mid-tones, highlights. By dragging shadows right way, we increase the shadows. Mid-tones right way, we increase the, we, we darken the mid-tones left side, we would increase them. As you can see, we can make it brighter. So I want this rather contrasty. And here we can increase the highlights, dragging this to the left way. And we can also cut out the dark, dark points from the image. So pretty soft, natural effect. Let's see how it presents before, after. And now I want to save it as a LUT. So I want to save it as, the, as this sort of filter. I'm going to File and then Export and then Color Lookup Tables. This is what interests us. And we want to save this LUT as a, as a cube, the, the best uh, format which uh, will process the RGB colors in form of the cube and then I'm gonna hit OK and just you need to find this place where you go into uh, save this LUT. So let's say I'm gonna save this LUT in the place where I have my image but I would recommend you to find one folder where you save in your LUTs and then I'm going to name this as a, a soft or summer test let's name like this i know the location where it is i'm gonna save it and now our lat is created so how to apply this now to some other image for example this one i'm going to open color lookup you can hit this here in your adjustments or just find the color lookup here from the bottom in your adjustments load 3d lat and find it on your computer. 
So I had this here and Canon 6D. I save it exactly in the place where my images are. Summer test cube, open, and the effect is applied. As you can see, exactly the same effect is applied. And whatever we apply, um, of course, it might work different depending on the image. So it's quite important to adjust it well to the certain images you like, uh, because for some images that might not necessarily work perfectly. But if you do them right, as you can see, I plan to make some really warm LUT. It does work on all of these images. Um, also, LUTs works on the videos. If you don't want to find your LUTs, uh, this way by finding this on the computer you can install them to Photoshop so make sure a um, few videos back I made a tutorial how to install LUTs uh, to Photoshop so when you once you make more LUTs for yourself you can install them to Photoshop so you don't have to look for them on your computer all the time but you will have them uh, more likely here as you can see I have my installed LUTs already that I can use. So you can customize them for yourself, you can create the LUTs, uh, whatever you like. Uh, at the end, I made the course on LUT creation, more advanced LUTs, uh, 20 videos. It's available on Skillshare and Udemy, so link is in the description if you'd be interested. Also, I sell my LUTs if you'd be interested, and the link is also in the description. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.